Welcome back YouTube viewers and welcome to On the Creek. As you can see from looking around that it is middle February here in Michigan and the weather has not been very great for us. We've had some warm spells and now it's back to cold so the ice isn't very good. There's not a whole lot to do out here. Most of our seasons are closed. Um, maybe we'll do some small game videos as we still got a few weeks left of that. Um, but we're going to make the best of it today and do another rendition of On the Bench. So I hope you enjoy our video and uh, like and subscribe. Thanks. Hey guys, for today's On the Bench segment, we're not actually going to be on the bench. We're going to be on the garage door because this is the product that I'm showing you today. This is the Cobra Garage Door Storage Rack for your fishing rods. It takes your garage door and turns it into storage for your fishing rods. It's an outstanding product. I give it an A plus and it's a definite buy. I'll make sure I link it in the description so you guys can check it out. You can find it on Amazon for $35. $35 to store your rods. And that's per rack. I have two. I'm going to add more. This will expand and I will have you know all my rods stored here because there's no better place to put them without them getting broken. So it's made pretty good. It's made from plastic and it connects to your garage door in between the panels by these wing nuts. These wing nuts take another piece of plastic that goes behind the lip and they sandwiches in there and it screws on so it installed of a matter of 15 minutes. And the only reason it took me 15 minutes to install this product is because I have this rail here that I had to move. The rail was a little bit too high. It used to link in at the top and it got in the way. So I moved it down and put it in with some self tappers. It was very easy to move and it still does its job. So it doesn't interfere with my garage door whatsoever. Now, these racks are great. They're quality, they're, they're built well. It's not like it's a moving part, so it's not gonna wear out. It, it goes in between the panels, so when the door goes up, it doesn't interfere with the door. They have the angling right, and then it just stores them. No problem. Anyway, moving on, I have two racks, and I spaced them different. So I spaced them wider for my long rods and shorter for my small rods. I could add one above and put it very long for steelhead rods or whatever whatever practice you want. You could put in brooms, shovels, you name it. If it fits in the, the circle, it'll, it'll work for you. And then I can uh, show you here, we'll move the garage door up. So when the garage door goes up, your poles go for a ride. And you can see it's not interfering with the operation of the door. The rods ride up. So that they fit properly and they don't uh, fall out. Um, I've only had one rod ever fall out on that, and I'm pretty sure it's because I put it in there wrong. As you can see, it's just a great solution for your rod storage. Uh, I find that uh, you know sometimes the weights hang down a little bit low, but for the most part, I enjoy it. And then when you close the door, you can see it ride down. The, the great thing about the circular design is it allows the rod to move with the door. So as the door goes up and down, the rod just pivots and it does what it needs to do. I really enjoy this product, guys, and I hope that uh, this video will, you know, put some use for somebody and somebody will see this product and say, man, that's what I've been looking for. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments of the video. I'll try and answer them. Um, but all in all, I think you can uh, look at the description on YouTube. There's plenty of reviews on the product and everyone seems to love it. I know I sure have. So again, thanks for uh, joining us here at On the Creek, and we'll see you next time.